Hey, 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 what's going on? This is the Vaping Rhino, guys, back with another E-Juice review. Uh, today I got something special, something special. This uh, E-Juice is a handmade E-Juice. It's a, a DIY. It's made by one of my subscribers, Daedalus. Uh, he's, a, he's really, really uh, into uh, making his E-Juices. Uh, and guys, please don't go and disturb him because he's not, doesn't, he does not make them to sell or anything like that. He just made them specifically for us because we've been chatting uh, here and there. So, and he actually sent me two uh, different uh, bottles right over here. I'm just going to review one right now. And one is Dragonberries and the other one is called Black Knight. Okay. And... Uh, <clears throat> He sent me these, and he also sent me uh, 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 other sets to send out to my, my buddies, uh, Raymond, Justin, and Mark, which I've already mailed out to you today, so you guys should be getting those soon, okay? But, and as usual, I'm going to have a little variety going on here. The only one that I don't have is because my mouth to lungs were already filled with uh, some other stuff, so I didn't have that uh, readily available. I apologize, but I do have it in the... Uh, dual coil, I have it in a single coil turbino, and I have it in a single coil tank, okay? So, let's do the single coil tank first. Mm. Alright, so, this is an interesting flavor. I'm going to bring up the flavors for you too, Okay. But obviously, the name alone, berries, is going to tell you that this is a berry flavor, okay? Uh, it's like, not in a mental type of way, but it's like, whew, it's refreshing. You know, it's like, really refreshing. And I, I, you know, and I was like, whoa, you know, I, I like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm digging it. It's different too. It's not like your regular strawberry or your blueberry. You know, this is like, it's a wild kind of berry, you know? And again, wait for those ingredients, okay? It's really, really nice. It's super refreshing. It's coming out great out of this tank, okay? Let's go into Tobino. This, again, super refreshing. The berries, though, are super concentrated right now. And now I'm getting the sweetness, a lot more sweetness than I did in the tank, okay? And I'm getting, like, I just had it, too. Like a citrusy. And I don't want to say it's like an orange or a lemon or anything, but it's just something very quench thirst thirsting, you know, like a like I, I, don't, I can't explain. It just makes you want to quench. It's nice and it's sugary, but not sugary in a way where it's like overly sweet and it's you know, it's just a beautiful, sweet, berry, citrusy kind of like flavor is what I'm getting. All right, so, and in this case, guys, we're not going to do the bottle check. This is a homemade DIY project over here. But if you read really, really close over there, it says, get the fuck out of here. There is no fucking warning label on here. All right. Anyway, last but not least, I have it on my um, dot mod dual mech over here. This is in uh, parallel. It's not in dual series. Sitting on top of my uh, dot mod RDA right over here. Okay, Whew. I've been doing so many reviews and been fucking vaping so much right now. The berries are out here. Oh man, out of the dual coil, they're just coming out really nice. Really nice. Let me just, oh, I fucking spilled it on the side. Okay, whatever. All right, so. Okie doke. All right. Dra 
Dragon Berries. I like the name. I'm getting like a foreign flavor in there. I did. I spilled my juice all on the side of this mod. Okay. I'm getting like a foreign flavor and I can't pinpoint it, you know? Now I told Daedalus I was going to review these. I told him to send me the ingredients and everything. I just made sure that I received it so I would have it actually for the review. And I didn't want to pull it up. Because I just kind of, I, I, I didn't want to be thrown off by what I read. In this dual coil, I'm getting um, a lot more of the berries. This wild berry kind of flavor. And it's really, really good. It's scrumptious. So, what I'm going to do for you right now is I am going to pull up the ingredients and show you guys, okay? All right, so I pulled it up for you. Now, I'm sure you're probably not going to be able to read this, so I'm going to read it out to you, okay? So, it is 3 milligram of Nick. It's a 70-30 uh, VGPG blend. So, the Black Knight, which is this bottle right here, okay? Black Knight. This is... 5% dragon fruit, 5% pomegranate, 5% black cherry, 5% blackberry. Okay? Uh, dragon berries is my newest recipe, and I have 500 milliliters of it, version 1, and you have version 2. Just a light tweak, but I made it better. Okay? So I have version 2 of dragon berries. So dragon berries version 1 is 5% dragon fruit. 5% pomegranate, 5% raspberry, 5% key lime. I knew I fucking tasted something citrusy in there. Nice. Nice. So, uh, the version 2 is which I have is the same thing. 5% dragon fruit, 5% pomegranate, and he just upped the raspberry to 10%, which is where I was getting that really nice wild berry taste. Okay? And 0.5% uh, of uh, uh, key lime. So, yes, uh, very nice juice. I love it. It's very refreshing. I think that between the dragon fruit is what gave it maybe that uh, that really nice sweetness to it because dragon fruit is like that. Uh, the black, uh, uh, not the blackberry, uh, the pomegranate and the raspberry is what makes it really, really wildy and tasted. Now that I, the pomegranate, now that I read it, yes, I could say that I would taste the pomegranate because it was like a some kind of like that's what was making me that quenching. Like it was like some kind of a tartness. And pomegranate is like that. It's kind of tarty. I, I know because I drink a lot of pomegranate. You know, and the key lime, of course, is what was coming in as that nice super citrusy flavor. Uh, I've enjoyed these immensely. If I had to say, though, out of the Tobino, the single coil, it's the best, the phenomenal best, in my opinion, out of the single coil. I'm getting more of the sweetness coming out of here. I'm getting that citrusy flavor that's blended perfectly together with the raspberries. I mean, uh, and the pomegranate, the tartness is definitely coming out of here. I think it's the dragon fruit that's giving it a little, that nice, you know, sweetness. I'm really enjoying this. Daedalus, thank you very much, buddy, for sending this to me. That was really, really uh, awesome of you. I appreciate it. I love new flavors like that. There's only one fucking problem. The fuck am I gonna do with one little bottle? Nah, I'm only kidding, buddy. Thank you very much. But I am gonna vape this shit. I had to literally stop myself because when I filled it up, I filled up this little bottle. Away. I'm like, oh, I gotta slow it down. I literally only filled it up like halfway. I says, because I know myself. I knew I liked it. And I says, this was uh, last night. 
And I says, first of all, I got to get the other bottles out to the guys because I won't fucking send it to them if I just keep vaping this thing. And second of all, is I'm going to go through this whole fucking thing and not have enough juice for the review. So that's why I decided today, I says, I got to do that review because this bottle will probably be gone by tonight. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, guys, Daedalus, thank you very much, buddy, for sending that to me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, guys, thank you very much for watching. You know the routine. This is the Vaping Rhino. If you're enjoying these videos, hit that like button. And you know what, man? Throw a comment down there. You know, let me know what you think. Let me know how, you know, my channel is going. You know, give me your input. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? In any case, guys, thank you very much. I'll catch you on my next review.